afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Eliza Lennon here with today's top stories. Syracuse University has earned the 58th spot in the U.S. News and World Report rankings released last night. Syracuse rose four spots from last year. The university is tied for 58th place with Fordham, Southern Methodist University, and University of Connecticut. The school earning the top ranking this year was Princeton. The fourth American with Ebola arrived in Atlanta this morning. The male patient got the illness in Sierra Leone and is now being treated in an isolation unit to be sure the virus doesn't spread. The U.S. government recently announced a $10 million contribution to help end Ebola in West Africa. Today marks the highly anticipated release of the latest iPhone. Apple released their iPhone 6 today, as well as an even bigger iPhone 6 Plus. Both phones will have a new Retina HD display and new horizontal features. Apple also released a computerized watch that tells the time, monitors health, and sends calendar alerts. iOS 8 will be released September 17th. Yesterday marked the six-month date since the disappearance of Malaysian Airline Flight 370. There are still no signs, but the search will begin again this month. Officials still have the search area narrowed down to 23,000 square miles off the coast of Australia. The search will now turn to the sea floor in hope of finding parts of the plane. And we saw a lot of sun today with a high of 76 degrees. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low of 60. For tomorrow, you can expect it to be partly cloudy but hot with a high of 82 degrees. There's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow night. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Stay tuned for Essay Today Live at 6 with President Boris Griesley. I'm Eliza Lennon. Have a great night, Syracuse.